welcome back to another speed build video. My name's Jess and today I'm building in Windenburg on a 20 by 20 lot and today's build is a small farm that's very Scandinavian inspired, um, really modern kind of vibes and I wanted to keep the lines really clean and keep everything pretty minimal while still making that farm aspect front and center of this build. So one way I did that was sort of changing the layout um, that I would normally build. So I set the house pretty far back on the lot and that's so I can have the garden front and center. And I think that really made this um, lot something special, this build something special. And I was really, really happy with how everything turned out in this build. So you can see I'm using those wall pieces from Eco Lifestyle to build sort of a custom um, fence slash sort of divider um, and I just wanted so I thought the build sort of needed something extra here and I thought that kind of worked perfectly to add in a little bit um, of like division between the different outdoor spaces that I have here so you can see I had to use quite a bit of the tool mod to get everything to set in place where I wanted it um, but I think it turned out really nicely and it went by pretty quickly. So I was <laughs> really happy about that. So here you can see I'm using a couple of live edit fence pieces. And this is actually what inspired the build. I was sort of messing around with different combinations of pieces from um, live edit. And I st used this fence piece from Cats and Dogs and the fence piece from city living and combine them and I thought it really made a cool modern kind of fence. Uh, so that is how this build came to be. So if you like this build, it's all because of these two pieces that inspired me. So you can see I'm already working on some landscaping after I finished up that garden area and I wanted to keep it really simple and really wanted it to sit into the world naturally. So, of course, I did that by looking at the landscaping that's around the area, and I just used pieces that matched it pretty well. So you can see I use a lot of lavender in this build, and then a lot of um, bushes that are more unkempt, and I thought that really worked well um, for this build because this is actually what I kind of had in mind, is this is a um, flower garden, um, flower farm, <laughs> whatever you would call it, where um, they make flower arrangements and sell them to, you know, whoever would want them. <laughs> and um, so I really thought that having lavender all around really brought home that, that image I had in mind of this being a flower farm. So yeah, I'm really happy with how the landscaping turned out. And just a little shout out to one of my favorite trees, which is the, the cypress tree that I used around. It's one of my favorite trees in the game. I feel like it looks like um, a Van Gogh painting. So always really happy when I get to use that. So you can see I finished sort of the outdoor hangout space. And I was really, really happy with how that turned out and so excited that I got to use the telescope. I think it's one of the coolest updates we've had to base game in such a long time. And I love the look of the new one. I think it's so pretty and definitely you can expect to see it in my builds <laughs> for uh, a while. <laughs> I'm definitely going to find a way to use it in every build I can. So um, working on the living room and you can see that I am keeping everything pretty minimal using minimal decoration um, and keeping it really bright and using a lot of white and this sort of orangey wood tone. And I think it all looks so nice together and definitely is a little different than the last build I did, which was a really cluttered werewolf shock. So um, I, I had fun doing something a little different and um, taking a break from doing such an overly cluttered build and being able to do something a lot brighter. It's kind of fun to, to do things that are just so completely different from one another. Um, kind of cool to see like how my building has improved over since I've started making videos because definitely um, I'm getting more comfortable with a lot of different styles of building. So that's really exciting. So you can see I'm just kind of setting um, up the plates underneath the counter here just so they can be a little bit more 
uh, aligned to the counter and we can actually it like can actually look nice because I feel like the slots in there are not really the nicest looking uh, when you just place random stuff there. So I actually went through and, and placed it really nice and I am happy with how it turned out. I think it was worth the time. So um, I'm just starting on the entryway here and of course I just added some books and a few plants and I'm just so happy with how that turned out. And here I'm starting on the bathroom and the bathroom layout actually took me quite a while to figure out, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. I feel like I say that a lot, but definitely if for how long it took me to figure it out, really, really happy with it. Um, so starting on in on the bedroom, I really liked how this turned out. And again, I kept it really minimal and I wanted it to feel kind of soft. But this actually means we're coming to the end of the build. So thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Um, you can download this on the gallery. My origin ID is Simmer Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent day. Bye.